One of the best ways for me to share my love of cookie decorating is to share all of my tips and tricks for beginners that want to learn how to make cute but simple uh, sherry cookies. My name is Gemma and on my channel I bake and craft everything on my dessert tables. In this video I'm going to be sharing two simple but cute mermaid designs and I'm going to explain why they are a smart choice for beginners that want to make simple and cute mermaid cookies. So let's start decorating! The first cookie we are going to be decorating is our starfish cookie and I'm so excited to say that this was truthfully the most liked cookie on my mermaid dessert table. Out of all the cookies on my table, this was the most easiest to make and this is the one that the kids loved the most. So to start off with, um, you will understand everything on this list as you watch my video. Let's get started. The reasons why the starfish is a great design for beginners is that it is actually an easy shape to cut out from your cookie dough, to bake, and to outline with your royal icing. As a beginner, you want to choose designs that only have a few colors to make. This cookie is so cute and it only has two colors that you have to make. Actually, it's one color but two hues of that one color. So in the end, you only have to prepare two piping bags. There is one drying time in between layers which makes this super fast to decorate. This is a three inch cookie. I do recommend a two and a half sized cutter for beginners only because you know the smaller the uh, cookie is the less icing you have to pipe. However, this is such an easy design to make that it is still a great choice. If you can find a two inch or a two and a half inch starfish cookie cutter, that's even better. You can add luster to it at the end if you would like, but this cookie looks cute even without it. So let's start decorating our starfish sugar cookie. Decorating a cookie involves two parts, the outline and the filling. And yes, you do have to do the outline. So we're gonna start decorating this cookie in real time. And I'm gonna explain to you um, how to outline your sugar cookie. As I am outlining my cookie, there are areas where I am piping away from my cookie and there are areas where I'm actually touching my cookie. So those are the anchoring points of this cookie and those are normally where you have like sharp curves or edges. Um, so as you can see, I am uh, anchoring it there, uh, piping it away from the cookie there. And um, the more you outline away from the cookie, the more of a smoother outline you're going to get. We are now going to start the filling or the flooding of the cookie. As you can see, I don't fill the cookie all the way to the edge. A lot of cookie artists fill this way as well. I think this is a great way to fill for beginners. When you are first learning to make that perfect royal icing consistency, you might make your icing a little bit on the runnier side. So when you go to fill your cookie all the way to the edge, your runny icing might spill onto the sides of your cookies and it's so frustrating when that happens. I like to fill my icing uh, this way and using small circular motions, you are pushing the icing towards Towards the outline. This will ensure that your icing doesn't spill to the sides. This is definitely a great way to decorate as a beginner and I still do it uh, this way 10 years later. Another decorating method for beginners is to outline your cookie, allow the outline to dry for 20 minutes uh, so that's nice and hard, then fill the cookie when the outline is dry. This method is also a great way to ensure that your icing doesn't fill to the edges of your cookies. If you are decorating with kids, this is definitely a great idea. Of course, you will see the separation of the outline and the filling once the icing dries, but I still think it's a great way to decorate for beginners and as you learn to perfect your icing, you can decorate without outlining in advance. When you are piping your outline and you notice the icing stays exactly where you piped it, it doesn't run and it doesn't flatten and it doesn't hurt your hands to pipe the entire cookie, then that's uh, a great way to know that your icing consistency is pretty good. Our cookie is completely filled. Now we're going to let the icing set for 15 minutes. It's not completely dry. It is still going to be delicate to the touch, but it is gonna be dry enough that we can start on the second layer of icing. Using our darker color, we're going to add all of the little details that are gonna make this uh, starfish sherry cookie so cute. There are two ways to decorate sherry cookies. I'm using the old method using the Wilton um, decorating plastic uh, decorating bags, the white plastic couplers, and the metal tips. These are reusable so you can wash them. Um, but of course, I, I know that um, tipless bags are really popular with 
uh, sugar cookie decorators that you know decorate sugar cookies full time um, but I I just haven't changed my method I've this is how I've always done it and I don't do sugar cookies full time so um, but I have a feeling that if I bought those uh, tipless bags I probably would not go back to um, using metal tips but you just have to find the method that works best for you We are done decorating our super cute starfish share cookie and you can um, add a little bit of luster dust if you want so you want to allow it to sit for 15 minutes again and then just brush it with a little bit of sparkle. We're now going to move on to our seashell sherry cookie and the reasons why this is also a great design for beginners is that it is an easy shape to cut from your cookie dough and it bakes evenly all the way around. It is an easy shape to outline with your royal icing. There are only two colors just like the starfish sugar, sugar cookie so you are only preparing two piping bags. This one has three drying times so it is going to take a little bit longer to decorate. This one is a two and a half inch cookie cutter so it is a perfect size for beginners. And you can um, luster dust it the way I did with the starfish sugar cookie and you can also add sprinkles if you want. So let's start decorating our seashell sugar cookie. Before I forget, I do have a recipe video on how to make my delicious sugar cookies. The link is up top and in my description below. Because sugar cookies are such an important aspect of my dessert tables, I do like to plan ahead and make them one week before the party. Once you are done decorating your cookies, you want to let them sit in the cookie tray uncovered for a minimum of 24 hours. If you are planning to serve them on a plate, 24 hours drying time is enough time. If you plan to package them in cellophane bags, then you will want to let them uh, dry for a minimum of 48 hours before you package them in the cell bags. And you still want to be delicate with them by placing a bubble wrap in between layers when you are packaging them in your box to um, deliver to the party. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did give my video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified every single time I post another video and I am going to be posting my uh, mermaid dessert table on my channel so don't miss the video on how I planned the mermaid dessert table um, meanwhile I'm also really excited about my video for next week where I'm going to be showing you how I decorated my beautiful mermaid cupcakes and my mermaid cake so until next time guys happy baking and crafting bye